we experienced over the, the last year or so some very unusual circumstances. In spring of 2015, it was very dry in Tasmania and we only received about a third as much inflows to our system, a third of what we would normally get. When we found out on December the 22nd that BassLink was going to be out of service uh, due to an undersea cable failure, uh, we knew we had to start making some plans. With the government we developed uh, some response plans that included uh, bringing more than 200 megawatts of temporary diesel generation onto the island. And that's where our relationship with Greco started. And we've ended up um, over the past six months installing uh, more than 100 megawatts of, of temporary diesel generation with Greco uh, in Tasmania. This site at uh, Q River, it's spread across two sites here. Uh, there's about 60 megawatt in total. The daily challenges around site is ensuring the client gets their contractor power. So that's mitigating the risks with breakdowns, looking after our preventative and scheduled maintenance. You know, there's a bit of risk we need to, to mitigate in, in relation to the, the large volumes of diesel we have here, high voltage electricity, and just keeping stock up to the site. The best thing for me about working within this project is obviously the speed and, and quality in which it went in it was fantastic, ensuring that Greco was seen as, as number one provider in the state. So this is Meadowbank project. Here we have 24 1 meg units, feeding a total of 24 meg into the grid for Taz Hydro. Greco dealt with this job, getting it in and up and running very well. They had a short time frame to get the job in on the ground and exporting power to the customer. Meadowbank was done within two weeks, which is a credit to the Greco and their team. This is Catagonia B. It's a 24 uh, unit site. This was the first site that a Greco built here in Tasmania. What I like most about working on this project is it's something different. Uh, we're in a remote area of Tasmania. Yeah, I think it's something quite exciting for Greco to be involved in this. We very much appreciated that Greco had within their teams all the resources that, that were needed to make the job work. What we were impressed with was that Greco had a pedigree of working in these quick ramp up situations many times before and we definitely benefited from that. Everything that we needed Greco were able to bring and we worked very smoothly together to, to bring the, the power stations from, you know, effectively points on a map to fully operational power stations with only a, a few short weeks. 